good morning everyone um i'm just sitting here getting ready for the morning this morning um, i'll actually i need to leave for pilates in like 10 minutes it's my hundredth pilates class which is like so freaking crazy um i'm gonna show you guys like because i know a lot of people are gonna be like oh like how's your body changed whatever like i feel like it's just way more toned um i'm like a little bit like kind of bloated right now but overall i feel like my body is just like really really toned up but honestly i'm just like happier and i freaking love pilates and that's all i really care about so so anyways i'm off to go work out these leggings are fabletics this to top is lululemon this little um jacket is aritzia and then my adidas slides which were on my fitness holiday gift guide on my instagram stories if you guys haven't already check those out also look at how nice this is my friend Devin. you guys know i've told you like very recently that a lot of my friends work at alfred and so he got me this alfred matcha which is so nice we talked about it for forever ago and then he just came up and brought it up to me the other day and it made my whole day so i'm gonna start making matcha from this alfred matcha powder at home i'm really really excited all right so i'm driving on sunset and i'm listening to the skinny confidential a solo episode on motivation um comment down below what solo episodes you guys want me to do um maybe like a motivation one for the new year i'm recording soon a bunch of solo stuff so so i'm driving to pilates um i know i talk about pilates all the time but this is an exciting day because it's my 100th class which is crazy i don't think i've taken 100 classes of anything um you guys know how much i love it it literally has changed my life it's my favorite workout ever my favorite class is if you guys go in west hollywood you go to the hot pilates studio it's literally called hot pilates on sunset take from daylight she's by far my favorite and the best um yeah i love the 7 a.m classes but, I don't know, it just really is, like, I can go on and on about how much fitness matters and, like, working out matters and physical health matters for your mental health and all of this. But it's literally my favorite thing ever. And so, I'm just proud of myself because I've never done, I don't think I've ever done a workout class enough to where I would get to 100 classes. So, anyways, I counted on my app the other day because I was like, what am I at? And I was like, oh my gosh, I literally hit 100 this week. Also, my body has, like, really never looked better like i've never felt better um i feel like you can't even really tell on camera a lot of the time too but like i don't know i'm just like very i feel much better like mentally and whatever i just overall feel better so just showered and changed all right guys me again i'm out of pilates i completed my 100th class which is exciting i think i'm gonna post a cute little instagram post um but i'm lint rolling my top which isn't really helping i got these mini lint rollers on amazon um i wear like all black so honestly i like always need to lint roll and now i'm like ugh, here we go so anyways i don't have to be in class it's it's 8 15 i don't need to be in class till 10 i'm gonna stop at blue bottle get some breakfast some coffee um and go on with my day i'm wearing my levi's and then my ooh, and then i have some steve madden booties on that i'm honestly only wearing because my free people ones from jeffrey campbell that i like so much more are definitely in my car and my car i think is ready for pickup today i need to like call and triple check so that is what i'm doing currently i'm gonna keep listening to a podcast i really have been loving the how i built this podcast which i usually am not that into those kind of structured podcasts okay, also today one of my favorite episodes went live on my podcast the i love you so much podcast with sophia rossi if you guys don't know who that is she's done like everything i freaking love her she's like the best person ever um, but she produced the hills. She produced a little bit of, the, of Glee too. I'm pretty sure she's like done every like she's just so freaking cool She's like really gives back to the city loves like baby to baby. She's Oh, she started hello giggles with like Zoe de Chanel. What else did she do? There's so many things they sold that She's like starting all these new businesses basically like I have this whole thought <laughs> live talk guys I and have known her for years and then I listened to a podcast with her and it just really inspired me because it's like every 10 years like you can just like completely reinvent yourself and do something different with life like I think too often we like make a decision and think we have to do that as our career forever um from these I really liked the crate and barrel one I loved the one with away um I'm trying to think of the other ones that I've listened to I just have really liked them lately but I definitely like the away and crate and barrel a ton you know, they have the stainless steel side, so you get your reflection. And I remember just seeing my reflection and my face was...
leaving blue bottle. Hey, Brennan. Hey. <laughs> Did you just pose for that? Sorry. Did you just pose for that? No, I wasn't. Even so I turned it. Oh, wow. Devin, Devin, I literally showed them the matcha you got me this morning. Oh, this is yes. Devin. There we go. I ran into them. So, see you in class. See you later. Bye. All right, guys. I ran into friends at Blue Bottle. I just posted all of my podcast promo, which is a lot. My 100th Pilates class, I posted like a cute little post on Instagram. If you guys aren't following me. Um, also, the Spotify rap 2019 stuff is out. So I'm getting tagged in so many of your stories. And in a lot of them, I'm in the number one podcast. So I'm very honored. Um, but yeah, it's really cool. I just like love talking to you guys on Instagram and stuff and like the Facebook group. If you guys haven't joined the Facebook group, you guys need to. So yeah, love you guys. Oh my gosh. It's always linked down below, but yeah. Anyways, I don't know why I'm like freezing now. Woohoo! Gonna go to class. See you later. Guys, look how cute. I have to come here tomorrow night. I really want to go visit Beverly Hills um, and walk around tomorrow night after our cooking class and look at the lights. But look how cute! Alright, guys, now I'm walking to class. So we're on our lunch break for class. Um, we need to. Go oh, I'm with Jess. Hi. She actually wants to be in the vlog today because we're going to Century City and it's our tradition that Jess is only in, in the vlog. Only in Century City. Um anyways, we need to go to Bloomingdale's because I accidentally bought not one, not two, but three of these of Quentin's like I'm most sure ex whoa, like most expensive Christmas present. So I have to go return those two. So we're going to Bloomingdale's. We do back in like an hour. Finding parking after is gonna be interesting. We'll see. Yeah. All right, guys, made it to Bloomingdale's. So beautiful. This is wild that this is like literally where we go on our, oh, Gucci. This is where we go on our lunch break, you know? I'm like, Merry Christmas, Quentin. <gasps> beautiful, uh, we love that. Fun. Okay, I'll see you later today. All right, bye. Oh. Which one did you call? Just regular store. The one on Renew. All right, everyone, we ordered our food. Like, they should have been able to take it, but it's a little bit of a mess, you know? We went to Bloomingdale's. The hell, like, the lady was, like, nice. She met well, but I know for a fact I could have returned it there because they told me in the email that I looked at, but they wouldn't. So anyways, whatever. We're getting lunch. We're going back to class, and then hopefully I'll have time to return on Reneo today. We'll see. Wow, guys, we went to this Fa Law. It's Falafel Bar. I'm like, blah, blah, just be. Okay. It's like more American. I would describe it as more Americanized Mediterranean food. Yeah, like very not Americanized. Quite authentic, but really good. Really good. This Mexican bowl was literally $9. Like, in what world do you get a $9 meal in LA? You don't. So, God bless. All right, guys. I'm going to miss this one. I have to give Dom a car back tomorrow. <laughs> um, okay, so. We went to Bloomingdale's, and it is an authorized retailer, so. The email, actually, that I got to said that I could take it back there, but the lady just, like. I would, she just didn't seem to know everything. Like, like she just like didn't really like, I don't know. Also, very... she originally said yes, and then she's like, oh wait, no. But I was like, it's it was so odd. Anyway, so whatever. I could have pushed, but we're just not gonna do that today, people. I'm just gonna have to go to Rodeo and go there. I mean, what a sad day when you <laughs> I know, to Rodeo. So well, yeah, but it's not like I'm buying something. Like, right. basically, I bought these two things for Quentin, or I bought. I meant to buy him one thing, and on the first order, I guess I already. I don't know. Like, it said I checked out with one, and then all of a sudden there was two on my order and whatever. So then I told them, I emailed them, and they canceled the order. Then they got delivered to my house, and then I got charged for it again. And I also bought him one. So now I have another order of his one thing that I bought him. Should I exit Santa Monica? Yeah. yeah. That's right. Um, of his one thing that I bought him, and now I have to go. It's been this whole thing, and it was just really like, <sighs> you know. We wish it could be simpler. We wish life could be simpler, but sometimes, yeah. <laughs> but this, sometimes it's not the card. Yeah, this dealt. is like the hard thing. <laughs> sometimes it's not the card you're dealt. All right. So, anyways, just kidding, everyone. Before I get attacked, also everyone over here driving wise is so rude. We were talking about that. Like as soon as you hit South Beverly. People Olympic just, in South Beverly really yeah. is where it's like everyone is so freaking rude. They're just like entitled. Like it's just confused. I'm just confused. Oh my gosh! Like literally, will never let you over. Why would you just let me go? <laughs> I'm honestly, I don't notice like a lot of like rude Ooh. drivers in LA in general. Like I feel like everyone's kind of like, you know, like this way. it sucks. We're gonna like do it together, and like not that rude, but like Beverly Hills area, Century City. Am I gonna hit this? Um, no. Okay, 
Beverly Hills area, Century City, it's just the absolute worst. So, anyways, we're heading back to class now. Oh, there's a, there's a person up there. Ugh, I love that because you know when you like stop to, and you can't reach. And you can't reach, yeah. I can't reach every time. Yeah, well, that it doesn't happen as often to me. But, uh. Perfectly challenged. <laughs> yeah, so it's really a lot. Um, oh, this is the nice guy too, I think. He looks so sweet. The fact that we, I've literally gone to Century City every single day, and I will be I going back tomorrow. for lunch. I've been going for lunch, I need to go for something else too, I don't remember even. All right, guys. Now, I'm on Rodeo after class, going to do my return. Finally, so cute though, Christmas here. Like, it's actually just beautiful. So freaking cute. Okay, we got it situated. It took 40 minutes. That was like really freaking long. So I'm gonna pick up Quentin and I'm gonna go shoot for a show at 15, which will be really exciting. Um, so I'll take you guys there, obviously. Guys, Casey Musker's Christmas! Quentin is an angel. He just slowed down so I can get that clip, you know? Guys, there's more. I need to get a photo. I got my Spotify, like, 2019 wrap thing. Oh my gosh, that's so freaking cute. Quentin, we need to find pictures or, like, this tomorrow. It's gonna be incredible. Wow, we have to, we also have to watch this tonight. I can't believe we haven't watched it. So, anyways, I feel like, well, one, I'm in my midday slump. I'm very tired. We're gonna turn lots on Highland, by the way. Two... The Christmas festivities are really starting to happen. Um, tonight, really, we just need to like cook and do some stuff, but also I wanna watch Casey Musgraves thing. I need to do some homework. Um, tomorrow is a whole Christmas day. Saturday will end up being a whole Christmas day. Do you, do you wanna get massages Saturday? I'm That's here please. For that. Also, maybe to tomorrow we get if you want. I mean, you know. No, I don't think we should tomorrow because we already have a pretty packed day. <laughs> I have someone coming to clean the house, so I can't leave the house for three hours. So, anyways, it's gonna be so great. I'm really freaking tired. Um, I'll grab smoothies. Yes, please. Okay, so I'm going to film, which is in like 30 minutes. So I just need to freshen up, get um, more lively, you know, and then head over. I have a new favorite lip gloss. Guys, I already said this in my vlog. I don't remember which vlog it was, but this MAC lip gloss old school YouTube. I think it's still focused on Quinta for some reason. In the shade Candy Box. Best lip gloss ever. It's light pink and cute. Oh, also I my favorite Trader Joe's dried mango. Good thing I have those because I'm starving. It's my favorite snack. I've been um, pretty good about snacks lately. I've actually been packing them. Are you proud of me? Really? Yeah, because I always just spend so much money. Like, I don't care. I'm fine with spending money on coffee out and about, but, like, I just spend money on, like, random food, and it's, like, $6 that I don't need to do, you know? It's true. Quotes, Dom. Let that man go. Mango? Mango? I don't know why the relationship non-negotiables. Guys, you know what's so weird? Okay, comment down below if you guys believe this, but Quentin claims to have never listened to my podcast of non-negotiables and dating relationship. Of like what I want in a person conveniently it was recorded at the exact same time we started talking but I just think it's weird that you never listen to that I think I did when you told me like a month ago a month and a half ago that was like three months ago but like if, if you were him wouldn't you have listened to it if you were like interested in someone you know what I mean I thought about this I could have like low-key because you're a lot of your life is on the internet I could have like found it. out all of your favorite things and stuff but I was like Mm. Not really my style. Oh. Got it. Interesting. It's well, kind of weird. It's kind of like cheating, too. Yeah, I guess. So, I've had a lot of car shots today, everyone, but what's new? I'm really sorry. More to come in Texas. More to come. All right, guys. I made it to Haley's. This is the set. So freaking cute. I'll obviously share whenever we finish all this, but, like, seriously... It's just so cute. I freaking love her apartment. It's literally my dream apartment. It's beautiful. Like, oh my gosh, it's so cute. Okay, this is Haley. Hi. We just recorded. Okay, this, first off, guys, first I need off. everyone to understand. This apartment is literally exactly what I want. Actually, it's literally the cutest thing I've ever seen. This, oh my god, I'm crying. It's so beautiful. Wow, well, great time. Great time. I loved having you on. Thanks. You're the best. I love you so much. I love you so much. Love you so much. Love you so much. Just finish. Um, my car is done, so we can pick it up in the morning. But Haley introduced me to Yerba Me. It's actually really good, and it gave me great energy. And Quentin went and got us smoothies while I was filming, which is really great. 
Oh wait, and, oh, a wheatgrass shot. Thank you, Quentin. Just staying ahead, making sure that we're healthy for the weekend. Yep. Yeah. I think it went well, but every single time, I have met Haley before, but we haven't like hung out. Oh my gosh, I have met Haley before and I love her, but we haven't like hung out. So anyways, I feel like the beginning, I feel like I could've just done better. She said it was a great episode, but she, I feel like I could've done better. If you guys film or do anything, you know when you film a whole video and you're like, okay, if I just redo that not right now, it'll be better. That's kind of how I felt. But anyways, hope you guys still enjoy it. I'll um, share it on probably like Instagram and Twitter and stuff or a vlog whenever it comes up. So I'm gonna drink my smoothie now. Okay. What smoothie did you get? I got peanut butter, chocolate and bananas with almond milk. Well, that's good. And whey protein. If you guys watched my vlogs like four years ago, when it was John and Kinsey and I, and every single day, my junior year of high school, we would go to Jamba Juice, and it was me and John at Jamba Juice every single time. Comment down below if you are still here, guys. I don't think any, not one single person is still here, but you never know. <laughs> All right, Quinton was just walking slow, so I could compliment his outfit, but what's new? We're back at Trader Joe's, guys. We're here, honestly, like minimum four times a week. What is that? Why is everyone just so aggressive today? Okay, so I've been holding this. It got really heavy, guys getting some food we already have we're gonna make for the next few days i already have those because those are the greatest we literally just vlogged here the other day um oh yeah i was looking at all of these and the salsas mm -hmm. comment down below your favorite thing to get at trader joe's can we make guacs trader joe's is a really great social media or online presence people love it it's a really hot topic in the facebook group trader joe's i mean they've had the holiday bags for a bit but the trader joe's is actually decorated for christmas and they're playing too. Christmas music. That's the best when you're at a grocery store and they're playing Your Christmas music. friendly neighborhood grocery store. This is our LA Christmas weekend because next weekend I go to New York. Oh, cute. I keep forgetting that we're not in my car. And then... Texas! Uh, we're going back, guys. I just showered, but I let my hair down before from that bun all day. And it almost looks like, like it obviously looks a little bit crazy, but it literally looks like I did my hair. I have no idea how that happened. That's like a once in a lifetime thing. And now I wish I would have taken this... Uh, take my bun out. I set him to go run an errand for me because I need tape. So Quentin's favorite thing in his entire life is his birthday. He like loves birthdays. Is so into birthdays, whatever. Tomorrow is his half birthday, and I don't think he knows. Like nothing. That's even really a thing. I just love gifts. Um. So I was like, oh my gosh, I should get him birthday presents because tomorrow is his half birthday. I don't think he knows. Tomorrow is like actually like a hard day for me, family wise. But I was like. So he's like preoccupied with that and like I don't even know if he would even know what his half birthday is Honestly, he loves his actual birthday. So I got him gifts too to be like cute And I just love doing gifts and stuff So I'm gonna wrap those but I just had him run an errand because I needed him to get me tape I didn't tell him why I should probably come up with some lie But I'm gonna wrap those presents. Oh, I need scissors too. Hey guys, so I actually have a very very exciting package right now so Megan and Lauren are like my two probably most dedicated followers <laughs> like they're so in the know i love them i like talk to them like we dm and stuff they're so funny like quentin knows who they are it's it's a whole thing anyways they asked if they could send me a care package and i was like 100 uh, percent. and they're very excited about this and i don't even know if they requested that i film my response like my unboxing but i'm going to I'm like literally so excited to see this. Like forever, they were so dedicated and I was like, oh my gosh. And they, I didn't realize that they even knew each other and then I realized that they did. And then I realized that they were roommates. So here we are. <gasps> no way. Oh my gosh, wait. Stop, this is like not freaking real. This is not real. This is just not real. Oh my gosh, wait. Guys, I'm literally like, wait a second. Okay, hold on. Oh my gosh, I don't even want to text this. I literally don't want to open anything yet. Vlogmas, this is so freaking cute. Wait, guys, this is like literally not real. Hold on, they said something for Quentin too. So I need him to come in here. They sent bones for Coco. Oh my gosh, I like it's so decked out. There's cactus, like this is. Hey, come in my room, they sent you something too. Okay, bye. He's currently cooking in the kitchen. They sent me this freaking cute bag. Like, it's so freaking cute. Leopard. Cute. Look at this care package that they sent for Vlogmas. Like, it's decked out. 
That's insane. It's not insane. That's it's the coolest box I've ever seen. I know, and okay, I'll show the hoodies in a second, but look what they sent you. <laughs> <laughs> This is amazing. That is so funny. The best dog dad ever. Best dog dad ever. That's awesome. They said cocoa treats, Love this that. purse, and then, okay, so like, I don't even know if we were friends during this point, but like, I love like my oversized like rapper t shirts. You know what I'm talking about? And like hoodies yeah. and stuff, and like my whole office and everything. So this is like literally unreal. And then this beautiful, like beautiful champion hoodie, and I love champion hoodies. And I love this color. They killed this. I literally can knock it over how amazing this is. Okay, I'm gonna do an Instagram Texas. story. No, like literally, I know, it's so freaking good. Guys, I will actually never get over this. Like the detail, the amount of time they spent, that is so freaking There's crazy. Cactus. Cactus. I know, that's what I was saying. Like it's so detailed and thought out. Oh my gosh, it's so freaking cute. The horse, like this, oh my gosh. Guys, seriously, this is the best thing I've ever received in my entire life. Thank you guys so freaking much. I just posted this in my Instagram story. Oh my gosh, Coco's gonna be so excited. Quentin's already wearing his socks. <laughs> They're amazing. I'm a dog dad. He's a dog dad. Aww. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh my gosh, I'm so, like, I'm literally so happy. This made my entire freaking week. All right, guys, so, like I was saying earlier, I'm whispering because I'm afraid he's here. Tomorrow is Quentin's half birthday. He definitely doesn't know. And tomorrow's like a hard day for me and my family and stuff. So he like thinks it's gonna be like, wait, he's just like not even thinking about it. Also, I know that half birthdays like are not a thing and don't really matter. Quentin just loves his birthday and I love giving gifts. So it just kind of worked out. Um, but he loves Shinola like notebooks and stuff. I have one, he's already, he had one and he's used it up, but it said QW and so I put QBW so he could not get them mixed up. Um, so I had this made like a month ago. I've had this stuff for a while. He showed me forever ago that he really liked these sneakers. So I got him a new pair of red sneakers. He's gonna be very surprised. Honestly, I think he's probably seen this, like the boxer. I had it in like a, what it was sent in, um, in my closet for like a month. So I'm sure he's probably seen it and just hasn't said anything to me or like, I don't know. I always put boxes, so maybe he hasn't noticed, but more than likely he has. But, oh, you know what? That is... No, we're gonna make it work. It's gonna barely fit, but it's gonna fit. Um, and I'm gonna wrap it so he can open it tomorrow. Quentin just knocked on the door because he wants to show my roommate the box. But, um, I told him I was changing. I'm like, LOL. So, this looks great. I'm the world's worst packer or uh, wrapper, so it's fine. But I'm gonna hide these in my closet until tomorrow. All right, guys, the time has finally come for me to unbox my Vistaprint photo that we got printed from our photo shoot with Tom's one hour photo lab made famous by one and only Casey Musgraves. We have this frame and we will be hanging this up in the house. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <gasps> it's so funny! Ah! Oh my gosh, okay, this is hilarious. <laughs> oh my god. This is so funny. This is 100% the funniest thing I think I've ever done. It's just so big. It's so funny. We were both back in Texas, so. Oh, I it. We just ate dinner, but Quentin is just staring at himself in the mirror with his new socks and said, honestly, this fit is fire. This is just not real. Oh, these socks? Oh, oh my god. Dog dead. It's not real. Shout out to Megan and Lauren for blessing me. Blessing you. All right, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. I just edited tomorrow's Vlogmas, posting it. It's only 8.45, but I'm so freaking tired. So I think we're gonna watch a movie, which means I'm probably just gonna go to bed. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. I'm so excited for tomorrow. It's gonna be very festive and great. So love you guys so much, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Also, subscribe if you're new here.